Hello, everyone. It is me, Mr. Game Guitarist, and uh, you might be wondering why am I wearing a headset for a video? Well, I am just preparing to start recording more videos for the last of, for my Last of Us uh, playthrough or Let's Play, whatever you want to call it, and. Um, so, I, yeah, yesterday I saw something that really got my attention. So it says that Steam is going to allow for, for, or is going to allow borrowed games. This is huge, because um, for, for a long time, people have been saying that, you know, lots of people do not like digital distribution. I, for one, uh, kind of on the fence about it, because, like, everyone says, that's the future. Okay, trust me, I know that's the future. It's, we're all headed towards an all-digital gaming world, but I just, personally, I don't believe that the entire world is ready to jump into it. But, and one of the main things about having actual discs, actual physical copies of video games is that you can, like, is having a whole used market, being able to rent games. And one of my biggest concerns was, uh, what's going to happen to Gamefly? Because I, I'm sure you've heard me say this several times before, but I have been a loyal Gamefly subscriber for about seven years now, and that's how I'm able to play all of my games, most of the games, because I buy, I don't, it's, I only buy just a few games a year, but most of them, I rent them from Gamefly, and, uh, God, I'm sorry for, for my shaky hand, I, I hand trembles a lot, I apologize for that, and, um, now, uh, Everyone is saying that with digital distribution, you, you won't be able to have to have it like a used game or a used market. But now Valve is starting to say, you know what? We can still have this. This can still exist. With now, it's finally being done with digital, and I'm very happy with that. That kind of may makes me feel a bit more. Um, it makes me feel uh, a bit more comfortable with digital distribution of this is the future. I mean, we all know how big Steam is now. I myself have never used Steam before, but I do not. But uh, I've been here wanting to get a gaming PC eventually. I mean, I need a new computer. Um, I mean, this is my PC right here. Uh, it's an HP Touch Smart 300. Uh, only 285 gigabyte hard drive, it's, uh, yeah, it was okay at first, but then I started to realize just how shitty it was once, um, I started to make more gaming videos a lot more frequently in my slow-ass internet connection. Anyways, back on topic, I think this is good for Steam because this is, uh, um, Away for the future, and and I hopeful. I'm very hopeful that maybe in the future Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft are going to um, try to implement having borrowed games or a used market within the uh, the Wii U, PS4, Xbox One. But the thing is. We are okay. Most some people are happy with Steam because of its uh, because um, they're not forcing DRM down your throat. Whereas Microsoft is trying to do that with the Xbox One, and it's not going to work. And the fun and I find this kind of funny because Microsoft is pushing this whole DRM stranglehold on everything because they're trying to eliminate a used games market, and and Steam just went like this. I said. <laughs> but I, I can imagine uh, Gabe Newell doing that to Don Matt Don Matrick, because he's saying, "Hey, you're saying hey, we've been di you're trying to push digital and and choke the, the consumers. 
we've been doing digital for quite some time, and now we are implementing the thing you're trying to get rid of. Ha 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 ha! Um, so, this is my thoughts on Steam um, allowing borrowed or used games now, and I'm... I'm very happy to see that implemented in digital games, and I really hope that this becomes a standard with, for the future of gaming, and I really, I would really like to see that happen. So that's my thoughts on Steam getting used games. Uh, I will see you later.